Okay, I really want to show everybody the cool bugs we got first. Let's just yeah. let's just get this into focus. I they're, think. they're so cool. It's insane. It's the just best macro it. camera. Oh, look at them. Oh, oh my god. They're they're so light. They're so large. They're so thick. They're, they're they're these are actually called Kubaris rubber ducky. If you're new to the hobby, look yeah, at them. They're they're there's the giant version, this the rare the, yeah, giant version. The Maximus. And look, uh, <laughs> look look how shiny they are. They're super shiny. Super shiny. Okay. Welcome everybody <laughs> Welcome. to the ISO Bros. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. are totally real bugs. To totally real totally bugs. Real, totally, totally real they're bugs. So, so real. Okay, awesome. what's gonna happen today is a bit of a different episode, because today is the how do you how do we how do we call this the 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 mm. collection episode, the stock collection episode. I don't know. Today I'm gonna show all of the all. Of, I guess I'm gonna show probably all of them, because we're gonna feed them, and I'm gonna show all the bugs, and we even have a close-up camera here. Yeah. And so the setup is a bit different because we also have a camera here that's going to show the whole setup from above and the monster energy drink and all the cables that you never wanted to see. I'm Most sorry. important part of the show. What keeps us alive. What yes. keeps us going. The, the water. It's actually new. It's a, it's a new brand. Have you tried it? No, I don't. I've tried it yet. It's actually quite nice. Quite nice. I mean, my favorite is always and will be the ginger one. Uh, no. What is it called? Mos the, 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 I think it. I think, I think it used to be Moscow or something, but because, <laughs> because uh, well, it's called it because of the Moscow Mule because of that the, the cocktail. But because of things that are called war, and that are Russia's fault. Let's just make this clear here. Um, it's not called that anymore. It's called Monster Mule. They should just call it like Kiev Mule or something to fuck with Russia even more, and make it like a, like a like a yellow blue. Can. I'm making an ASMR. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're 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 in this together, this Finn. So hard. Uh, oh, no. oh no, it's this is such isn't a nice thing. color okay. though. It's right. It's Looks so yeah. so so natural, organic. No, one thing about me, I am so manly that actually my favorite color is pink. So I'm having it's like very pinkish red. Yeah, I think th that's so funny that people are always like, oh, pink isn't a manly color, and then. When you go to Italy, every dude wears a pink uh, polo shirt. <laughs> oh my god! And you're like, yeah, and those are, and and they still beat their women. Oh. <laughs> so, so if that isn't manly, I don't know. Sounds like Italy is my country. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> wears pink. Yeah, and, and everybody's everybody's a wife beater. Finn is also wearing a wife beater. Wearing a wife beater. So, awesome. yes, we just started this episode with uh, domestic violence. And war. And war and Monster. And monster. Cheers, I drink Cheers. to that, bro. I just hit my teeth. Are you okay? Yeah. This tastes exactly like a watermelon. Totally. Totally just like this is basically watermelon and then they put the flavor put the label monster on it. But this is just Totally, absolutely, and we're not liars. Mm, isopod food. Mm. Okay, let's start. Um, yeah, let's start. We're going to start with the box from last time. The Maculatum box. And now we're going to switch into the bug cam. Oh, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to dramatically reveal it. Chan, chan, chan. Okay, now we just need to have some bugs in focus. Come on, boys. They don't want to. They don't want to. Okay. They're like, no. They're so like, this no, is this. this is my Armadillidium maculatum uh, um, box. This is the zebra box, and what you can probably already tell is that this is my yellow zebra box. So I'm still trying to find a stable to, to make it a stable yellow zebra box. Um, I started with some yellow zebras, and I think I got these from Germany from Toby. I am not. I think I got them from him. I mean, I there's a lot of yellow in there. You're starting to see more and more with like really bright yes. yellows. And you can see more on the camera than in real life. Like it always depends a bit on the light. Um, so yeah, one thing that is important to say before we actually start this show is that this is these are the box the way they are, the boxes. And you will probably be able to tell that some of them eat a lot. So some of them will not have a lot of leaves going on or there will be super many isopods. I'm trying to bully this super yellow one into the camera frame. Yes. Bully but him. It's not working. Um, oh, but no, there, he is. there is there is that super yellow so the thing is that i just 
I feed them uh, once a week and I try to always have the f substrate fresh and everything, but some of them are just so many and they're so voracious that food is just gone very fast. That doesn't mean that they're having a bad time or whatever. You will see boxes of, I think, Porcelio Levis, both of them, they just, they just eat everything up in a second. I don't, it's the worst. So th those boxes will not look really nice. Um, but most of the boxes, I think, look really nice. Maybe and they're going to go for the cucumber on yes, camera. Let's have them go for the cucumba. Cucumba. So we have what we have here is cucumber. And we didn't... We didn't... Did you wash the cucumber? Yeah, I did. Okay, Steve. good. No, but because we didn't... Um, no, I washed it pretty well. Okay, good. Because the thing is, the carrots, I always, as you can see here, I always... I'm going to just put it here and it's going to be in focus, right? No. Here. Put it right. On, put it on top of the cucumber. Yeah, Make it a tower. Okay. So the thing is, you should really always um, wash your veggies that you give the isopods, and you should um, peel the carrots because even if it's if you're like oh but I buy from an organic market, there is a thing as organic insecticide. They can still use like why do why why is caffeine in this? What is caffeine? It's a plant that wanted to kill all the bugs that are around it so it developed caffeine and thus humans were like nom, 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 nom. same with like yeah like with the, the with with cigarettes the, and, um, and help, like the pe peppers I'm they, that evolved to be spicy so animals wouldn't eat them and then us humans were like holy <laughs> shit oh, we're gonna eat all of them because they're so spicy yeah okay so also what you're gonna notice that the camera is just gonna turn off every couple of minutes i'm sorry yeah there's nothing we can do about that yes. unfortunately this was not a cheap camera but Canon, who is not a sponsor yet, so we can still trash talk them. <laughs> Canon is like, yeah, this is a cheap model. And so we're just going to not be able to f change the settings that they that the standby goes over three minutes. So that's just what happens. Whatever. Yeah, they're just like, fuck you. Give us your money. Yes. And yeah. But they, they, they make really good cameras. It's just that they're, yeah, they don't, they don't do all the things that they could do for the lower price segment, I think. But I all, I'm all i a Canon guy. So oh, we're, all, we're already doing things that we are yeah, we're already, we're already talking about 100,000 things. We want to feed them. Yes, we're, so we're feeding all the bugs. You're going to see them. Um, these are the zebras. Zebras are from Italy and France. Can, can you check the book? Yeah, which page are they on? We are we we no you go go to the right. We're starting. This is the fir yeah. This is the first page. Yes, this is the page where we start with the with the. Uh, you just you just you just go through until you you go to Armadillo Maculatum. Now this is Clue Guy, and then. There you go. Yes. And then you and then you then on the side in the text you always see um, where they're from and everything. This is far, this is far. We can't hear you by the way if you if you're over there. Oh, sorry. Well, I got it's go all good. It's all good. Just. We were reminded Ooh. gently by one of our viewers that... Gently? Gently. We were gently. reminded by an... That's a real microphone. Yeah, that this is, the, this is the microphone that doesn't go everywhere in the room at once. Which is, yes, that's how amplification works. Thank you. But I can't yeah. find it. You can't find... Okay, no. you just give it to me. I'll, be, I'll, I'll do it. I've, I've read this book, so I should... I didn't read the whole, whole book from back to back. But yeah, I'm just illiterate. <laughs> so... Let me just... Uh, how did you just instantly find that? Oh, because that's how it is. I'm sorry. Um, oh, wow. The guy says that he... So the person here, they also add some of their own experience. And then he said that he bought them for a really high price because he always wanted them in two so 2013. So 10 years ago, this was considered... A prime isobot, and now everybody has it. Uh, fun fact: I know some people who breed geckos, and this, what you're looking at right here, come on, focus, focus, be a good boy. Uh, this is gecko food. That's right? how. That's how rare they are. They're just. Oh, uh, homeboy, shut off again. Homeboy, shut off again. Okay. Um, oh, yes, it Italy. I think the stock originated in France. Oh, it's just the laptop that turned off. The stock stock originated in France. Blimp. Oh god, this is already chaos show. Yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> um, and now I need to remove this stuff. Yeah, okay. So the stock originated in France through the species 
though the species also occurs in northern Italy. So yeah. And they're called zebras because they are black and white striped. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so interesting. So cool, bro. Okay. So since we have three boxes with those, um, we're gonna skip through them. But yeah, they're gonna that's a bit too much. Oh that's too much, sorry. That's a bit too much. So, um, yeah, peel your f- isopod takes food. Takes one piece of cucumber. Uh, so, and then we're going to always, when you take something out, look. Yeah. And then we're going to give him some moisture. Did they get fish food too today? Um, yeah, I just give him a bit of fish food, yes. And then a bit of fresh leaves. Hold on, I can't open the container. I give it to It, it has one, one, yeah, exactly. And then there you got it. Fish food stain. That's fish food. I think we can actually ditch this cam because it's kind of the same as this gun. Yeah. You think we should ditch it? We can, I guess. We can. We're professionals. I'll just make it very small. We're professionals here. Yes. Yeah, so they get fresh leaves. The leaves have been. Uh, the leaves have been. Um, should got my more. brain. They have been baked, baked and or microwaved. Um, there, most of them are oak and other hardwood. So I think some of them are also apple and cherry tree, but not 100% sure because it's all in one container and it's all mixed. But yeah, they get leaves from the forest and from my mom's garden and it's all hardwood. It's all been... Um, they're locally harvested. They're Organic locally, leaves. organically, um, what is the word, S- sustainably. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next box. Oh, some of them might be von Schönbrunn, actually, when I went there too. Oh, no, I think yours um, yours have already been fed. Cause there oh, my was prime leaves have already been fed. Because we had the issue with where I did not have any leaves. And then Finn was like, yeah, I'll just go to Schönbrunn and get them for you. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. Schönbrunn, oh, we have to, can you tell what Schönbrunn is? Yeah, uh, Schönbrunn is... Um, it's a zoo and a just garden here in Vienna. It's uh, kind of pretty famous, I guess. And they have like a part that is just like a garden with some woods that you can walk through. It's a palace. Yeah, there's also a couple palaces. Uh, and by the way, people will look at you really weird if you just go there with like two IKEA bags and collect leaves, sticks, and wood. Yeah. I recommend it. People are boring. Okay, this is Armadillidium paracai from Greece. This is one of the first pe- species of isopod I got. As you can see, they go they go from dark to light gray. They're super pretty. Thank you. Um, they're really easy to to take care of. Um, yeah, there is not a lot to say about this species. They look a little bit trilobitey because they got these little nubs. Let me see if there's anything cool in the book. It says here, it requires some airflow. It produces very quickly in large broods and can be a useful feeder. Yes, definitely. They explode. Um, should I give them more leaves as well? Yeah, Yeah, I should just give, give them leaves. Uh, yeah, they're from Greece. They're kind of cute. They grow to one and a half centimeters. I think that's it. There's not a lot to say. Give them a bit of water. And we're good to go. And I'm sorry, but we can't just talk about every isopod for minutes because I over 60 boxes. This. And there's going to be... Oh, I'm not going to say. But there's going to be something else as well. Uh, we're probably going to show my favorite isopods, um, which are very obvious. There might or might not be tears on my part, especially if it's big chungus. Yeah, uh, on these ones, I don't need to... Uh, on the On the... I, I never need to oh my water God. them what because Finn I cries think? and his tears already are so. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is the original zebra container. Don't Here, escape. What? Uh, he was vi- he was all the way on top on the mesh. And I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, they do that. This is these. There are some. Uh, there's some muddy boinking. We're trying to boink. What you can see here, I'll just show you something that's going to be for this, that's going to be coming back in the substrate episode. What I tried to feed them is the basis. This is, um, how do you call it in English? This is um, mycelium because I was breeding uh, oyster mushrooms. Oh. And, you know, I thought, hey, they're going to like it. 
but the, the oyster mushrooms were growing on like what is it called is it wheat barley it's it the it's like the, it's the plant part of wheat it's not the not the not the stems not it's not it, it's the stems and all that stuff exactly i don't know the word in english um but and it's infested with mycelium and so i thought hey the isopods are gonna like that right look they're just boinking on camera they're like <laughs> oh let's go we should um, put romantic music over this i mean we're already listening to smooth jazz yeah but the viewers aren't the views aren't maybe maybe you you um you you said that there's somebody who wants to yeah Ilya. Uh, Ilya wants to <laughs> uh make a meme account where i'm totally down with i'm gonna send her i'm gonna send him yeah. him her but it isn't Ilya? I'm, I'm confused no no about the name isn't Ilya a, a, a female name it's a name i thought i thought for me Ilya was 100 percent a female name I'm just because it ends with <laughs> ah but i went to i went to school and learned latin and latin everything that ends with an a is yeah. female spanish too mm -hmm. so whatever um finn's brother Ilya is Although, but if you, if you have if you have um, like in Italian, Andrea can be a male name, for example. Really? It can be. Yes. Andrea so is a boy's name. So um, just for everybody listening in, we only care about gender when it comes to. I suppose. Paying people less. Because <laughs> I always that that's I always so yeah whatever um no we 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 care about gender in the sense that we want people to be respected but that's everything but. So, one of your siblings, whose name is Elia, yeah. they is that they, is that how, how you want me yeah. to refer to? It? Like I, I I found out about this last episode, so it's I still have to get in this. It's all good. Um, Home Homeboy was just like, um, there'll be a meme account about your show, and it'll be mine. Yes. So Elia will gonna will will be doing memes, and so I'll trans I'll do the we transfer and send them the whole last episode, so they have all the source materials for the YouTube poop videos. I even showed uh, there's this one there's this one video it's really old it's about guys feeding a blue to blue tongue skin hornworms and they put the funniest music over it his name is Bardiel and Bardiel is not very smart but I would kill for Bardiel or maybe he is smart I don't know okay this one is what? Santa Lucia what? they usually hang out on the inside I don't know I think I restructured it a bit and now it works better but this is Santa Lucia, which is a morph, a stable, a stab a stably unstable morph of um, what's the word vulgare. So they they just tend to love all the different colors, and they're also super easy to breed. Um, you can see here this is some egg carton. I suppose like um egg carton and cardboard and things like that they e they even eat it and they like to hide in it not i think Some because of them are super red and pretty like yes and you you have all the colors in this Hold on, i want to put him i want to put him put in him on the focus i'm gonna put him on top of the nut come on hold the nut he's super pretty i shall call him bob and then forget that I and called him shall Bob be in called five And he shall be called Bob. And they, they come in so many colors. Like, here's a yellow one. I mean, yellow. Under quotations. And this um, this isopod is very... Um, this is, I think, one of the... This is like zebras and pandas. This is one of the easiest to take care of. And one that is very... Um, people love it as a... Um, cleanup crew but it's just so unbelievably cute because it has all the colors they have all the, all colors. the colors of the wind watch okay. out disney's gonna cancel you and they're super cute and easy to take uh, easy to take care of just look at this one that's with like yellow and orange and so all of them are cute. he's, so he's cute. orange and black no rip no he fell oh well and so this is, um, yeah, th these are super nice. And you can have them as a cleanup crew or just as a display animal. They're also, they really don't care. I mean, they burrow, but they also walk around. Um, yeah, this is one, uh, it was also one of the first ones I got. And they destroy the boxes at light speed. Yes. Some of them are not going to get water because they are a bit too, they are moist. already moist. I don't water 
it's like for example the Hoffman's egg I, the ones I keep dry I have to water every week funnily because I only water uh, so much but the ones that keep it moist they can go with the moisture that they have usually longer always taking a sneak peek first okay i just tried to lean away from the mic in order to swallow the swallow the monster because i know i swallow really loud <laughs> that's okay dude uh if it I told so they, many times they, they can they can hear all our bodily functions don't even try to hide it god amazing uh okay this is versicolor this is an old colony that is doing that is doing fine but somehow none of them want to go into the frame or or show themselves in any way I saw like so yeah, many. A couple, they're right here. But the second you touch something, they vanish. Okay, let's let's find one to show. They need more more leaves, right? No, I mean yeah, you can add leaves, of course, but it's it's not like they don't have enough leaves. They've been doing fine. I don't know where they are hiding. This is there is one. Okay, my boy. Aggressive this. fish food rain. One okay, let's put this into focus here, the boy. Swear to God, everything's turning off today. There you see him sitting on the on the sleeve, uh, on the on the bark. Right there. Yes. He's opening up. And yeah, they're from this is Versicolor Slovenia. And yeah, they're they're easy. They're easy to take care of. I'm not sure if you can use them as a cleanup crew because I've had them. Now I, I finally found a boy. I put him in focus and the camera turns off and then he scampers. Yes. So I got them. These are one of the first ones. No, no, no. Wait, this is not one of the first ones I got. But I got them for a couple of years now. And the thing is, oh, I suppose. That's why I call them stoners because they, they cause, yeah, they're out of control. But they're lovely. There's um, one, there's one. Here, okay. Come here. Um, so the thing is, they are, uh, they're not that prolific, I think. So I'm not sure if they're a good cleanup crew because they, yes, they do their thing. Wait, is that a zebra? Or is that a versicolor? No, that's a, it's not a zebra. But that, a, has to, that is not a versicolor. That is, a, that, that is a secret agent. <laughs> but there is the versicolor coming up. Um, that they're not that prolific. Like I always, <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I always have like. 20 30 50 in the box they're doing well there's not a lot of dead ones but it appears that they're not having that many babies but i'm happy with that so i love how he tried so hard to eat that flake of fish food that he fell off well yeah let's just close <laughs> this one up we can't we can't spend too much time with an unspectacular ice pod <laughs> i'm sorry but they're so dumb i love them okay next up what do we have here Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh, is that the Montenegro? This is Klugai Montenegro. Uh, yeah, I can spot a Montenegro from a mile away. I love them. They're, they look like they look like little clowns. Yeah. They have these little tiny like they look like they have like jackets on with some with yellow dots and I love them. They're one of my favorite kinds. My mom bought me some uh, uh, oh, I didn't know. my cage. And I love them so much. But it was a uh, cage for uh, leaf insects. So all of them escaped, and then you found oh them no. dried up all over the oh floor. Oh, no. I, I can't tell you how many We tears. talk so much about <laughs> isopods escaping and dying. People would think we're the worst. <laughs> so as you can see, they're doing really well. Um, they love to climb, as you can see. They're on all the sticks here. They're originally from Croatia, but let me just double check. This is Marlene. I love Marlene. Here you go, Marlene. Be free. Um. Yes, they're from Croatia, and the the I think I, I said this in the last episode, but they have these colors to mimic the European black widow. Um, because the black widow in Europe apparently kind of looks like this, and then they're birds and lizards and whatever. Oh my God, it's so chunky! I have to be so careful whenever I pick up the fish food so I don't accidentally drop any in my monster because it's like uh, right here. Just put the monster on, on the other side. Okay, it was a really big one. I wanted to catch it, but it went away. But for example, with this one, you, 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 I open the box and you think, oh, there's no leaves. He doesn't take care of them. I put fresh leaves up in this bitch every week. And they just... Yeah, I mean, you can tell how much they eat. Like, this box is... It, it's just... It looks like it's empty because they just 
chomp 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 everything okay one 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 fun fact about about clue guy what a fun one important fact actually is that these boys um need us need an intense gradient so they have one side that is moist that is kind of really moist and then the other side is super dry so i never water here i always water uh, not always but most of the time i water over there and then so s intense gradient means um that it, there is a that there's a strong curve going up or down depending on w which way you see it um there are so many of them i love them. yeah they did they're doing really well i like it um so they're doing the gradient thing where they so there's um there's holes in the in the top and on the sides so there's a lot of circulation and then one side is really moist one side is really dry with the maculatums that we had before with most of the ones we had before you don't really need to do any a lot they just like it moist but if it's a bit drier it's also okay that's why they're a good that they're they're a good um what is the word for it um beginner species ah uh, yes of course beginner species but i was looking for the word um cleanup crew or um kilian said a word that i've that i already forgot again which is that they're shout out to Kilian. Shout out to Kilian. He's a really cool guy. He works at Schönbrunn. He does. We yeah, but now we're like we're circling back to Schönbrunn, but it's because he Schönbrunn, does. He, yes, he does. He's a, he works at the freshwater uh, uh, oh my God, that's breeding so cool. things. He's really cool. I'm, he should he should tell the people that. Uh, Wait, I, I'm opening the chat on WhatsApp on the laptop because I can't open it up on the phone because the phone is used to fi to film. Um, he's custodians was the word. They're custodians. That's a lot of nudes. <laughs> Why is it a lot? That's 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 the usual amount. Like, have you seen the other chats? The one with your mom. That's Not a lot. That now mother. that's a lot of nudes. And it's like all the videos, man. Not my mother. <laughs> well, you, br you 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 went there, so I escalated. Okay, but like Kilian said, like custodians is also a nice word. So yes. They're, um, these ones, not sure if they're a good custodian because, again, strong gradient. So if you have a, I, I think... Holy shit, he's ginormous. No, don't. So if you have like a... Um, I think they can be a good custodian, but I wouldn't... If, if you're, for example, new to having terrariums in general, and then you're like, oh, I want to have this kind of gecko, skink, lizard, mantis, tarantula, snake, whatever, and you're like, and I want to have custodians, I wouldn't especially go with these because these ones are an additional challenge on that i would go with uh, something more stable and then if you're further into the hobby um if you're further into the hobby and you know how things work then you can be like okay i can take this and make it work yeah um great species i would say like an intermediate species but they are escape artists all ice pods are escape artists Yes, all of them. Like this one's at one point we had like these um big uh stick bugs. The Australian ones. I forgot the name. But they were they got pretty big and at one point we had babies and we didn't know we had babies. Oh no. And we found out because I had this huge dragon statue I made on top of the enclosure. And at one point I thought my siblings had chipped the horn of it because there was something standing off. So, oh, I, wow. so I took a chair, climbed all the way up, and it was a miniature stick bug. Oh, and I was so like, cute. how? Oh, it's the magic potion one. It's time to oh. brew up a potion. Here. It's the magic potion Let's one. just turn the whole thing around because there's more on the other side. Well, I, I just... I'm sorry. But this is a big one you found. Okay. Yeah, this is Armadillidium vulgar magic potion. A big difference because there's also the uh, Depressum magic potion. <laughs> and there's... It's called Armadillidium Depressum. And there's also Mardi Gras, which from Amadillium, which is not, but it's Mardi Gras. It's a morph of Nazatum, no, I think it's somewhere in this book. But there's Mardi Gras, they all kind of look like them, but they're different. I love the magic No, th I think they're even Porcelli of the Mardi Gras. Whatever. I don't have Mardi Gras, so I don't need to know about it. Um, magic Potion, super cute species. Oh, you can see some, some uh, you can see one here. Yeah, he's, he's which shedding. Is, who, who already is out of, getting out of their shell. Let's just get this into focus. He's taking off. He's like taking off his skin. Oh, I think I just accidentally made a fart noise with the camera and the cord. Yeah, of course, camera. Eh. Hey. It was like a. 
Oh, now I get the smell of the fish food. Oh, boy. But yeah, why is it called Magic Potion? Because it's got this Magic Potion gene where, they have, where they're white, but they have yellow and black spots. Sometimes blue. Sometimes they have really blue really? spots. Yeah. Really? Some individuals have like one or two light blue spots, and it's my favorite thing to spot. Let me see if I can find one. Important, important fact about isopods. If they're blue, they have iridovirus. Like if the whole animal is blue, they have iridovirus, which is like kind of the only big issue that you can have in your colony um iridovirus uh makes them turn blue i think it's because they're suffocating like we're turning blue and we're suffocating i think that's what's going on but yeah they do not like it at all um that's why you always need to check your bugs yeah it's vulgare so actually it's the same species as the santa lucia the the, the gem mix we had it before from the vulgare so, again, very easy, very beginner friendly. Look at Good him. Good He's like waving with his little tipsy. I keep not talking into the mic because it's like blocking my view. Uh, you so can just put it a bit down and then. So, Mr. It's a Richt Mikrofon can uh, be grumpy at me. Uh, oh, yeah, this works a lot better, damn. And then wait. Oh, no, it works like that. Yeah, you're good. And he could be grumpy at me again for not talking into the mic. Okay. I just love watching them eat, especially when they like two of them grab the same like piece of fish food and then they play this miniature tug of war and it's the cutest thing ever. So I would say again good the good beginner species. Actually you can use them as custodians. Shout out to Killian. Um, Our cleanup crew for the stupid people in the room, aka me. AKA everybody that's not Killian. Um, but you should um you should maybe think about they're really white so they're really easy to spot they have no camouflage so Except if you, have an if you make put like white decor in the cage i guess don't know how oh my god that. imagine just having a straight up white decor like a super modern deco thing where everything's white for your snake <laughs> it's gonna be the worst okay i'm just gonna have to do a thing because my laptop is putting going into blackout mode all the time and it's another thing that I don't want to take care of. Okay. Now we have that issue fixed. Okay, next. next uh. Let's go. That's the albino ones. Yes. I just always open up the box before. Uh, he turned off again. He turned off again. Yeah. Oh, there's a big thick one in here, but yes. he's so super al wedged in there. Albinos are, I think they're also from Vulgara, but I'm not sure. This is the T plus uh, albino. There's one in the moss, right there. In, right there. there in, in the moss. Um, so these albinos, I thought I sold out all of them. Because I only had a view and I was like, you know what? Somebody really wants them. I can just sell them and sell them all of them. But apparently there were some monkey in monkey are, are the babies. There were some monkey in the moss and now they're back. They're doing the thing. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. Isopods. <laughs> they are back. I'm being mean and destroying his little wood because I want him to come out. He's no, it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, you can see they're 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 um they're creamy white because they're not albino albino. They're T plus albino, uh -huh. which is the thing where they can do preforms of melanin, so they can get like creamy um, soft colors. See how chunky he is? Yes, and he oh was no, out he of wants focus. to escape. Like compared to my finger, he's a he's a big boy. Not my finger. That's good. He's a big old boy. This is a bit too bright, is it, for the white ones for people to see? Oh, no, now he's in focus, but he's going to leave. I think I got to have to do something with the color grading. I'm going to ask a friend of mine. She's an editor. And I'm going to ask her, like, hey, how do I do color grading in Da Vinci where it just looks neat? And she'd be like, I'm sorry, but that's really technical. You can't just make something neat. And then I'll just download an app and <laughs> make, like, a neat filter and everything <laughs> will look neat. But it will be super bad and <laughs> people will... Technical people will hate me, but it will work for the podcast, probably. That's probably how it's going to work out. 
Oh, there's isn't there a chance that uh, randomly in the boxes there will be pink dragon millipedes? Uh, yes, that's a funny story. I bought dragon millipedes. The I know the name. Pink dragon millipedes. No, no, but the the I know the the real name. But oh, uh, they're I know the pink dragon millipedes. Uh, so um, I had them. They died really fast. I always wanted them. Then the the, the pink dragon millipedes. Then they died really fast. Um, and what happened is. I was like, oh no, what have I done wrong? And since the substrate hasn't been used at all, I re, I took the substrate um, to mix it with my other substrate, my fresh one, and then just gave it to the new setup batches of other isopods. And then dragon millipedes tur started turning up in these boxes because apparently they died because they laid eggs. And now I have dragon millipedes everywhere. But it, in the in the Crystal Delidium Muricatum, there there's the most of them. Do they need water? I think they look good. I would give them a bit of water. You can always you can also um, judge of on the how how much water do they want or need by just seeing where are they on the box side. If you have a, you always have a dry side and the in this case you always have a moist side and a dry side. And if all of them or most of them are on this on the on one side, you know okay you're oh, not having a good balance like. I there's one he just grabbed a flake of fish food and like he's, he's running back paddled away with it so this is gastroi from france but let me let me recheck um hold on look at this one i'm trying to bully him into frame he cut a fish food flake on him and i made it wet running. and now he has a little coat oh no it's a french pig bug that is colorful there's even the white morph of it that has like white instead of yellow but i think they're they're amazing they're one of the biggest ones that can conglobate one yeah, of the biggest chunky. armadillidium there they can grow really chunky some of the males okay. and yeah i would also say beginner to intermediate species trying but he's a big boy that's a big boy and i like that i like that on the side they it's not just black and or like gray black but that it it it, it fades out into almost white yeah they're really pretty on their coat they're yeah they they are one of my favorite ones there once you know how to take care of them super easy um they always have babies they always they always um, are strong in repopulating after a oh, I after a convention them. yeah but i just wanted to okay. more cucumber Sorry. can you oh you already gave them some fish fro food i did i first. also gave them fresh leaves i am fast okay. oh, there he is let's let's see if we can put him into focus i'm speed Oh, there's even more on this side. I'm going to put this. this up there now. Yes, inconsistent camera bullshit. We're so good at that. Yeah, um, by the way, you already know this, Finn. Yep. We have hit more than 100 views on our first episode on YouTube alone, which is amazing. He's eating. He's eating the chomp chomp. This one here. No! Oh, no, no the, 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 the small one is stealing it. Look, he's... Oh, I thought it was <laughs> only the small one who was no, holding it. No, they were... Oh, fine. he's gone. Um, <laughs> if an isopod falls thought. down onto the forest floor, or in this case, box floor, it doesn't matter at all. Every time I hand people bugs who don't know how to handle bugs, they're like, just keep your hand over the box and you'll be fine. Because if you drop it, you'll just land on the moss or whatever and they're going to be fine. Okay, next box. They're also not very talented. No. Where's the... I have the lid. Oh, you have the lid. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, you can see how, where they gather if, if there's an imbalance, if they're all on this moist side, then you know, you gotta do, put more moisture in there. If they're all on the, on the dry side, then you know, you put a bit too much water in there. Okay. Oh, the funny thing is uh, about my box, right? I have a, uh, the bug cam turned off again. Yeah, that's okay. This box is actually kind of empty. I'm trying to, I'm trying to empty this one out. So there's only one bug here. Uh, it's a. Uh, can you hold this for a second? I I oh. I um. I sold all out, all of my. What is it called? Um, Bulgara orange, and there was like, three or five left, a bit more probably, and I just collected them and giving them to the, Bulgari box themselves. So he's speeding. Can you give it to me? Here. Boop. 
Oh, but what I wanted to mention, like, you know, my, uh, I have a box of uh, Panda King isopods. They're really cute. Um, and they got some moss from my snake cage because I put in too much moss with the snake cage. So I had, so I just gave it to the isopods. And now they have like a layer this thick of moss. It's, they have a really thick layer of moss. And I don't moisten all of it. Uh, but they love it. It's like a multi storage building for them. They're oh, always. Oh, you told me about the Yeah, they're always building. in the moss. I always think my box is empty because they're nowhere. And then you pick up the moss and it's just full of isopods. They love it. This is the box of from last time where we. Oh, where we picked up the pretty boy. Oh, I see him. Where we picked up the pretty boy, He's exactly. Right there. I saw him bef I saw him He's recently. Like right there. Yeah. Where is he? Right there on a stick under oh. the leaf. I have a feeling this is a much chiller episode than last time. We're both being very <laughs> subdued for we're, once. We're, we're trying to be to do our best. So this. This is the special lad. This is special special lad. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to talk about this. We just made a small box. Um, let me just go into the right camera. Does yes. does he get a? We piece just of had it. We just made a small box. Um, you just give one piece of carrot. Yes. Oh. Um, box with some substrate, um, some sphagnum moss on the side, some 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 places to hide. Nothing super special. When you use, uh, oh, you just almost, oh, you almost squashed him. He's right there. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> you 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 hit like right next to him. Oh god! I oh, just wanted to put cool. this over there because the egg cartons don't put them on the wet side because they're gonna soak up and get super moldy. Yeah, but is he's not alone? Where's where where's his harem? His girls, or they're just... They Where are the girls like at? I don't know, maybe they're in the leaves. They're probably in the leaves. I mean, they have a lot of them. Or just they're waiting for him in the bedroom. Okay. I just said isobugs. Yeah, we... we, we s I think we've, we've multiple times said it before. <laughs> it's okay, it's isobugs. Isobugs, isopods, isobros, isohoes. Isohoes, okay. This is my so this i'm not 100 percent sure this should be picked them but i th i'm not sure if the guy who sold them to me just didn't sell me the wrong one and this is also versicolor. or oh i just tried to i i tried to make sure the bug camera can see it but the bug camera's on. oh yeah we're not we're not showing uh, the bug camera at the moment our brain cells left for today yes so yeah just basic give him a bit of this give him a bit of that spray them when you do this put it more on the dry side oh, okay, because sorry. then it doesn't mold as fast because okay. the fish food really likes to get moldy it's all good i just pretend to be a, ch a chef yeah. make a drain on the miso hose <laughs> it's not raining men it's raining isopods okay and then there's two more boxes from this part of the shelf this now this is something special. This is something dear to me, and unfortunately not a lot of people share it with me, but I think they're super special. This is Armadillidium frontetrion golem. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, they're from Corfu, and they kind of look like clowns-ish. Um, and you can see they also have this this pattern of uh, of spots on their back. Yeah, they look a little bit like the Montenegro, but just not. Yeah, they look a bit like the Kluga Montenegro. Yes, um, I really like them. I think they're super special. I think they're also on on like the intermediate scale when it comes to how difficult is it to keep them. They're super cute. Um, they like to bite holes into their leaves. Yeah, but but so far, by the way. We didn't have any protein-heavy species. Protein-heavy in the sense that we don't feed them a lot of protein. We just give them the the the, the classic treatment. When we come to the Porcellio species, there's going to be gamaroos on the menu. And actually for some of the gubars as well. I mean, they love the little little shrimp guys. Yeah, the gamaroos, yeah. Yeah, they go feral for them. Okay, let me just... My, like, my panda kings, they also sometimes... Because I have snakes and... The baby snakes don't always want to eat. Sometimes they say, I can shove the mouse up my butt. And you're just like, ugh, I won't eat. So my isopods get them, and it's actually 
kind of terrifying but also fascinating to watch them eat an entire baby mouse yeah but but you know in they they oh they would only eat the baby mouse if the baby mouse was yeah. dead in nature anyway so but it's really or dead or dying i guess so yeah. maybe not as they don't cool. leave anything behind it's just gone i was talking about it with, with killian <laughs> about um when they eat what do they leave behind and i was like i'm not sure but probably yeah okay fur but we were talking about skeletons oh. i think they're gonna leave behind thicker pieces of bone but if you give it enough time they probably eat through that as well so this is granulatum and there's a whole like you could just scoop them up yes they like to they like to gather. There's a lot of them. I dis I disrupted the. There, there's like so many of them. Look at them. They also. They also ate all their leaves. So they ate all of their leaves. There's a single Montenegro in there. I, I I just saw it as well. Oh, I there's then there's a second one. Can you give it to me? Yeah, there you go. And I'll put it. Yes. How did they get in there? I'll, I'll, I just wanted to tell the story of how they got in there, but you know. Oh, I sorry. Should I give them some water? Uh, yeah, you can give them some water too. Okay. Alright, they're watered and fed. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna come up with the Porcelio boxes. Right. And then I'm gonna tell the story uh. of why there's Clue Guy in the wrong box. Inside the nut. Do you want to focus? It doesn't want to focus, but they're inside the little nut, and it's very cute. But yeah, speaking of what they leave behind, I know for a fact they don't really like to eat fur because, like I said, I own snakes. Sometimes, if my snakes don't eat, the isopods get to finish their food, and we had like. Back when I lived with my mom, our big, like, her big adult um, plains hognose didn't want to eat. So we just threw in the entire mouse with the big isopod cage. And I, I thought they didn't eat it at all because after, like, a week, it still looked the same. There was still, like, just this mouse, so I reached in. By the way, this is, if you're squeamish, uh, skip the next th 30 seconds because it's going to get gross. But when I went to pick up the dead, she said, "Oi!" But when I went to pick up the dead mouse, it was just skin and fur left. Everything on the inside, even the bones, like there was a bit of the skull left, but everything else was gone. Just this shell of fur, and even uh, on the underside, there was a little bit of fur that just had like fur and skin that had just become one with that. There's another Montenegro. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Hold on, let me let me go grab it. Come here. This is kind of awkward. I'm scooting him very carefully. There you go. Thank you. But yeah, apparently isopods don't really like to eat mouse fur. They're like, no, this is gross. They're like, this is yucky. There's one isopod that, that's just dragging the other one around. I think he has him by his antennae. Stop it. Stop bullying your friend. That's mean. Stop. Yeah. There you go. I'm just sitting here having the time of my life watching you do all the hard work. Okay, I'm gonna take off the shirt. Oh this no. one's for the ladies. Orlando is stripping already. Where's the, where's the lid? Do you have it? Oh yeah, I have it. Please put it on. Thank you. By the way, the bug cam turned off again. No problem. I keep yawning. So, reasons why isopods... <laughs> oh boy, there's a leaf. Reasons why isopods end up in the wrong bin. Number one, you feed multiple bins at the same time, and they, some of them crawled onto the 
low, down onto the bottom side of the lid and then you oh, then you put, put the, the wrong, wrong lids back on and then they end up in there where should i put the monster soaked leaf oh probably give it to me and i'll uh, and I'll, and I'll put it put it in this piece of thing and then throw it away because we do not want oh. the monster to end up with the isopods because caffeine kills bugs um and yeah reason number two and that is the reason that i'm guilty of is i'm coming home from a convention i'm like okay i didn't sell of course i don't sell all of my bugs i gotta put some of them back in the boxes and then i'm like okay i got all the clue guys i got all the granulatum okay all the clue guys go in this box all the granulatum oh fuck and then I put a whole box of them, and of course they just disperse yeah. immediately. And then you, you realize it, but yeah. And so some there's there's been a mix up of granulatums and parakai and the clue guy. Then reason number three is escapists that get homesick and then they enter the wrong bin. Um, who was it? Who was it? Um, the guy with the with the pork father T-shirt. Um, it's not Aquarium Max. It's not Russ from Aquarium Max. It's um, what is the channel called? Everybody knows. Everybody who does isopod channels knows their name. Um, is it? Wait, I, I can open up YouTube. Is it? Uh, somehow the, the word gecko comes to mind, but I'm like, what would it be? Is it? I think my isopod is sick. He's not eating. Oh, no. Where's my new one? It's right there. There's Russ from Aquarimax. What's the name of the other guy that's that's so well known? Whatever. He I, I'm gonna look up the name and tell the story at the same time. Supreme Gecko. It's the it's Supreme Gecko guy, I think that's the name. Um What he told us is that he had he always he in one of his videos he told that he always keeps the dwarf whites at the bottom mm -hmm. because when they escape and they enter a, a different closure the issue is that they only need they're all females they're all females oh. doing the thing and there's you only need one female to swarm up the whole colony it happened to me as well um it's it's stupid it really is because then they outcompete the mankai of the other species so you have the man you have them in there and then whatever i have them with my Bolivari, I think. Ooh. And then the Bolivari have kids, but the Mankai, the kids of the Bolivari, then have to compete with the dwarf white isopods. And yeah, the dwarf, dwarf white isopods win. Aggressive. It's your asshole. Rip. All right, more isopods. Give me. Okay, we're just gonna start with one of the basics: Porcellinoides prunosus. Oh my. Oh. And yes, these are swarming. Yeah, there's. I just opened the lid and there was just this mass scattering that occurred. These are koi. And as you can see, they're not purebred, so there's always some orange coming out. Um, again, there's not a lot of leaves in this box. Yes, because I put leaves there every week. And then like on the next at this week. Amount. Yes, look at them. These are definitely one of the species that people would consider as food species. Um, they need some water too, I think. Yes, put, give them dry. some water. I think the kois are super pretty. So they're white with yellow dots, uh, with orange dots, like a koi fish, koi carp. Uh, I like them a lot. I like them too. They're super pretty. And they sell pretty well. Like whenever t Every time people were like, oh my god, I want a cleanup crew, but I would like something pretty. I was like, have you considered the koi? Have you considered the koi? I think they're super Totally neat. not, just because I love them. Do you have the lid? Oh yes. <laughs> um, you can just put the lid over yeah. there. I think then it's I think easier. that's better because this is out of my immediate view and, yeah, and my then object permanence. Yes, the, the, is the ADHD object permanence yeah. is like never existed. It's like it, it's out of your sight. No, it's gone. You don't own it anymore. It never existed to begin with. This same, oh, but crazy. lemon. Um, here you can see a, another piece of uh, mycelium that I tried to feed them, but they mostly just use it as a hide. They're not really eating it. So they're called lemon because they're yellowish. Yeah, same thing. Prunosus is... I don't is think they need water, right? No, they're super they're moist. moist. Prunosus is very prolific. Um, 
good cleanup crew. You can have them. You can feed them to frogs and things like that. Uh, yeah, they're super active. They don't hide a lot. Yeah, I, there's not a lot to say about prunosis other than they're like the favorite of many people when it comes to cleanup crew, when it comes to bioactive terrariums. You got to watch out. Do you have the lid? No, no. you just put it I there. I just put it up there. <laughs> and we're talking about my object permanency. Ha 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 Funny ha ha. What is going on? There's, there's, a, there's one that is half black, half white. I think, I think I just saw one. I gotta look for it. So this is the powdered blue version of them. Yeah, as you see, Orlando is a very abusive father. There's no leaves in there. Just letting them starve. I'm such a bad eye support You're keeper. Letting them starve. I think I just You're saw one that is buffer. white and black. Like the, basically like the one, like the zebra we had. But maybe it was also just shedding. Um, yeah, very, the, the thing is though with them, you have to take care that they don't overtake if you have you have them share something if you like i would never keep them with millipedes for example like some people have um shared uh environments with millipedes for example and that works in some instances i would never do it with these boys because these boys are just voracious they just eat everything if we can yes here in the back i just love looking at them that's I don't. I think I've never talked like this little ever before when I'm with people because I'm just marveling at the isopods. <laughs> Marvel the isopods. Just hard eyes. They're just so cute. Wh what do you call the little um, the little spikes on their butt again? The europods. The, it's. It, I think those are my favorite. Like not when they don't. Not the ones that have the long ones, but the lo ones that have like ones that are just visible because it looks so freaking cute. It is cute. They they um the europods are, uh, as far as I um, educated, the europods are um former legs that have kind of developed into butt antennae. So they use them for the same <laughs> reasons as they use the antennae, but they're on their butt. Like having a second pair of if eyes. I just watched one steal a, a flake of fish food, and now he's just munching away what at it. What do you mean it. steal? They, they're for them. I know, but it, I mean when they, like, grab it, and they drag it away so no other isopod can have it. That is theft. That is theft. Okay, wait. Drama we we got to do a bit of dramatic. We do it. Here. Drum roll. Okay. Let's go with something that's cool, and that's prolific, and that people like. That's Did Ornados. Did I do drum roll for no reason? No, I didn't. Kind of. Oh. Look, there's one on. So this is exactly what I was talking about. He's on the lid. I don't know how he got there, but he's, he's on the criminal. lid. Criminal. 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 So Ornatus is, I think, one of the most um, aggressive eating species. And criminal. I've even read some that some people keep them with other isopods so that they eat the babies of the other isopods before they eat their own babies it's the worst but what you can do with them it's really cool first of all this is yellow i have some um yellow dot i hope that they gonna interbreed because my yellow dot colony crashed for no reason what you can do with them can you give me a fish flake you can feed them by hand if you're lucky we'll try to do that yeah you can have a white one because they show up easier okay Let's see if we can feed this pod. Oh, I think so. Ah. Maybe. Maybe hold it like, you know, like this, because they can eat it easier that way. It's, I mean, it's not the issue with them. They, if, they, if they're hungry, they eat. Okay, let's, let's say, let's, let's. They're, what's up with them? They're, I'm treating them too well. Now they're not good show animals. Wait. Maybe he wants a different flavor. They're all the same flavor. They're all they're all fish food palette flavored. Oh no, maybe he wants a different color. Okay, let's let's try this one back there. So Aquarimax Russ, he showed that you can feed them by hand, and I posted some pictures of it on my on my shop website. Come on. I think they're just fed. Oh, is he having it? Is he having it? Yes. yes. He's having it. Take it, my boy. Take it away. I'm feeding one too. And now he has it. And now oh. he will eat it. Oh, there's one. He took it from my hand. Sometimes they, they take it and run away. It's super cute. 
So they're very voracious. They will just eat whatever they find. Which I think tends to be an issue because they go through their substrate oh. super fast. He took my offering and now he's eating it. He's right uh, there. Where is he? He's is he on the, on the piece of bark? Look at him. The one that holds the big red flake. Oh. That was my offering. He took it from my yeah. hand. So there's even a high yellow um, morph, which is m complete, almost completely yellow. Um... I keep bringing up the same people again today, but I think it was Russ from Aquarimax. Go check out his channel. Uh, he's a really nice guy. He helps me also out a lot. Um, he... Look how he's eating. He... Um, I think it was him who did a video about four isopod morphs from Ornados. Just look. It, the piece is almost as big as he is. <laughs> but you gotta have the schmied, boy. You gotta have the schmied. He's, he's chomping it. He has to hold it with, like, half the amount of legs he has. So cute. I wonder if he's going to try to put even more legs on it, and then he'll just fall. They tend to do w that. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, what I There was a time where I was in... Um, what do you call it? I think the English word is rehab, but that sounds like it's for drugs only. No, I think it's and rehab. For me, it was also crime. No... It's, um, what is it called if you're going to psycho reha? I think it's called rehab as yeah, well. It's reha. Yeah, rehab. but what is it in English? Okay, I, I went for a couple of weeks to get my shit sorted. Not that it worked, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, but uh, I wasn't at home for a couple of weeks, and my mom, who loves isopods anyway, she took care of them. And she gave some of my isopod colonies, or like some breeds, cute names. And I'm going to translate them from English, of, uh, from German to English, of course. Um, but she called them Beißerchen, which means like uh, bitey, boys. bitey boys, I guess. Because these are the only ones that, they, of course, they try to bite you in a sense that um, they're not going to hurt you. No, no. But you can feel them nibbling on your fingers. You can feel like a little tickle. Sometimes. It's like you can feel it with the, a hot schnecken. Really? Like the, 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 the big snails. And my mom has them as pets. And she was always like, when I was when I still lived her, with her, she was like, yeah, hold them, hold them. They're sweet. They don't do anything. Every single time I held them, they tried to eat my hands. And you can feel like this rough, like kind of grinding feeling because mm -hmm. they have like a tongue with teeth on it. Oh, ba basically like a panther, right? Bas they, they just, I don't know. I, I guess snails think I'm edible. It's only snails, though. Sad fin noises. Um... So, yeah, the the, fir the last one, the Porcellio ornatus, yellow, or Porcellio ornatus in general. I'm always looking this way because I got I got because there's a laptop and I gotta see if shit's in focus. Um, it so it's, it's I would say it's like the first one of the big Spanish boys, um, or it's one well, of the big Spanish boys. The first one we're showing. They like to have it very dry, so I only water one side of the enclosure. Rest stays completely dry. This is the second one we're showing. This is Expansus, black and white in this case. I also have orange for later. Yes, show show the colony. Show, show the colony. They're Heidi boys. Just. They don't want you to see them. They have secrets, and the secrets is tax and the secret is tax fraud. Of course, all isopods commit tax fraud. That's why they hide. Um, yeah. They're my so flat. Th another. My mom gave them the nickname of Broschen, like a brosh. Is that what it's oh, called? Oh, yeah, it's a brosh. It's think. a brosh because she thinks that they like they look like something neat that you put on that you have like made out of. Um, I would call them pancake boys. I, I uh, you can, but there's actually ones that are called pancake ones. The Verneri are called pancake, and then there's, um, and then there's uh, the ones that I call the the flower marginados. I call them uh, cupcake. Oh, that's so cute. Because they're so they're so high. Yes. Like like Ducky Supreme. Kinda like Ducky Supreme. Like Ducky I, I Supreme. but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe if you compare them to Ducky, maybe they're kind of the same. But so what I what what's important with these ones is they don't eat a lot. I don't know why, but they're always doing good and they never eat up their food. They're one of the more um they're one of the protein heavy species. The ornados actually as well, but with the ornados, I'm trying. Maybe not they participate in diet culture, which they shouldn't. They should not. Um, 
I I try to feed my Ornados. Honestly, this is gonna sound cruel, but I try to feed my Ornados as little as possible because if they explode, then it's gonna be the thing where they explode, and then I have so many that they're gonna crash because they destroy and eat up everything. And so I try to keep them very on a low profile because otherwise it's a bit it's a bit self-destructive. You can pet them, except for you can't because they run away. You can pet this one. He's nice. Yeah, uh, you can see here. And calling him Francis. What, what you can see here is the defensive stance where they're trying to push themselves <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, because uh, who could have guessed isopods don't actually enjoy being pet? They probably not. This is one of the biggest species. Um, they're not as long as Hoffman's egg, but they're they're quite wide. And you can see here if you haven't recognized a tiny boy. Okay, next one. Oh uh, wait, this one was upside yeah, yeah, of course, down of course. here. I'm gonna put so it back home. So they don't eat a lot. Um, they eat protein. No, 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 no. Um, when you do it like this, take it out with your hand first because you might be grinding up an isopod. Just take care of it. I was careful. There's one. You never know. Um, <laughs> grinding up an isopod. Yeah. You, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's what I meant. But then you smoke it. Of course you. You think I keep them because I like pets? <laughs> no, this is this is my private drug collection. Okay, this is Flavor Magnatus, the original one, the black and white one. Let's show them. And this is what I would consider the the, the cu cupcake ones because they're kind of gedrungen, they're kind of high. Kind of high. They're kind of high. I have a friend. And I have multiple friends. I can't reach. Look at this. I think they're really pretty. They're active. Um, there's coming up a couple. I, I'm not sure if you could call it a morph because there's coming up uh, like more and more. So they're from Turkey and Greece. And they're coming up more wild forms of that, this that look interesting. I have a second one that we're going to show is Flower Magnatus Crete. They look like they have uh, like the the white rim on their body kind of reminds me of like lace on black dresses. Mm, yeah. You know, it's like these. This decoration things. Uh, like those. Uh, like, have you watched Chilling Adventures of Sabrina? Like, like those kind of vibes of dresses. Mm, no, I haven't. Where it's like, <laughs> I guess you could call it. I don't know. It it always gives me like witchy uh, school uniform vibes when it's like a black dress and they have these little white bits here and then the. Like on the bottom of the dress, there's lace. That's what they remind me of. Okay, we gotta we gotta go to the next one. The next one I got from okay. Isopete, and they're from Crete. He called them Flavomagnatus ex Crete, but I just call them Flavomagnatus Crete, not because I wanna disrespect him, but because ex Crete sounds like they're shit. Excretion, yeah. They're excretion. So um. Pete, if you if you if you hear this, <laughs> I've rebranded them because the old brand kind of sounded bad, in the sense that excrete means taking the dump. I forgot to put in my septum. Now I'm gonna look like I had dirt but on my face. you have a septum. Yeah. Oh, but not the big yeah, one. Yeah. Last time I put it up, so because it looked like I have dirt on my face, I put it in stealth mode. Okay, this is flower marking out of Crete. So they're from Crete, as you can probably tell. And they're going to look a bit different. Yeet. Yeet oh, wow. it up. Yeah. Let's just put this into focus. And you can see some of them are really cool greenish, like this one. They're kind of gray. Water? Yes, water, please. They're kind of gray. But some of them um, are more yellow greenish. And of course, that's a thing that you can isolate. Um, what I, by the way, with the bark that I just turned, what I sometimes do is that I have the bark. When I feed them, I turn them to look at them, leave it like that, and the next time I flip it again so that it's both sides. Both sides are equally well cooked. Yes, cook them equally well from both sides. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, s I mean, I don't know if a biologist confirmed this, but this is the same species as the one before, just different color. Oh, you can't pet those; they will scamper if you try to pet them. They will scamper. Pet, pet. Yeah, they don't go flat; they go scamper. 
Well, running away is always a good strategy. It's what I do it's when faced do. with problems. Yes. Run. The tower of ice pod box is next to me, is stacking, <laughs> stacking <growing>. it. <laughs> it's like playing Jenga, but but with ice pod boxes. Is it Jenga? I think it's, it's Jenga. Jenga. It is. No, no, it's a. But with Jenga, you it's take out tower. pieces. Yeah, but first you have to build the tower. Okay, this. Oh, those are the big, thick boys. These are the big boys. Oh, yeah, no, he's alive. He is alive. He doesn't seem happy, though. I'm not I'm sure what it is. Maybe, maybe he's just, just old. Oop, careful. Okay, this is, as everybody can tell, Hoffman's that guy. The big one. This is a girl. Or this is a boy. 100% a boy. You can see so Finn is holding up oh, one. Yeah. And oh, but they're... You can see here the long Europods in the back. That means it's a male. And Here, I, I, I misgendered him. I'm sorry. It's okay. Because his belly scales are like... Apparently, this wasn't the first time on this podcast. No, but his belly scales are so flat. Oh, it was because... Oh, never mind. Last time we did the gendering with a different kind of isopod. That's why I thought it yeah, was... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, these are Porcelio. Yeah, Everything's oh. a bit different. Let go. I'm trying to be so And here you can see a male and a female next to each other. They were probably talking about how to how to take care of the kids. One's like, we gotta go homeschooling, and the other one is like, no, we gotta move to a different district where there's better schooling. And yeah, so you can She's see. Like, Jeremy, I'm leaving, and I'm taking the kids. I'm taking the kids. This is a male. That is not fully grown yet, but you can see the long. Um, Europods on the back. You can see the long, no. The long black. Um, you can see the long Europods on the back. And this is a female that is fully grown. Yeah, I think and you can see the small Europods. And you can see next to each other, they look, they're about the same size. They're about the same size as the Ornados we had before. So this is like 2, 2.5. This one maybe almost 3 centimeters plus the Europods. I think but this one isn't doing too hot. He's moving very slowly. Yeah, maybe... Maybe maybe he's dying of old age. Yeah, he's very big, so he's, he's big, probably yeah. old. So what people have um, found with Hoffman's egg eye, they're from Spain, by the way. All the big ones are from Spain. What people have found, look, when you when you do that, don't um, don't oh, do it on the floor because if there's an isopod there, you might put the whole piece of bark on them. But lift it up a bit, yes. Um, oh. uh, so this is considered the biggest species of isopod. People th say that if they get older, they um, get longer, but not wider. So they it feels like they're getting thinner, but it's just them getting longer. Yeah, this is um, considered one of the kings of isopods. They're super big. They're actually territorial. So males will try to drive other males away, which I think is interesting. No, other isopods don't do that. I would jump to the next species because this next one is gonna be crazy i like watching them be stupid well that's because you can't watch them be smart because <laughs> they're just as stupid altogether okay what's coming up is the mother load this is what so people are envious of that i have them did we give them protein food I mean, you can see from here that there's some in there. Yeah. Okay, those are good. I'll give them some extra. Okay, we're coming up with the mother load. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants this, but nobody has it. But it's just me and some folks from Britain. Ooh. Um, this is Hoffman's egg eye yeti. That's why I skipped because this is the same creature but super intense white. Look at it. The black thing you can see are the intestines. The thing that you can see through. Oh, like with tram. Uh, yeah. And mm -hmm. so again, the I keep them super dry. There's one male in this colony that's just so... B oh, there he is. Oh my God, he's so oh. big. <laughs> this is... I have... I've given him a name. His name, because he's not... He's not 100% white. He's a bit creamy colored. That's why I call him... Man, that's a big boy. That is a big fella. That I call him Alpha Cream. There's a not so big one for comparison. Ah, focus. Focus, focus. The camera is out of focus and now it's turning off. You got him? Yeah. I think they got me more like it, but. 
So this is so pretty, right? I mean, I think this is the biggest isopod I've ever had. Yeah, he's ginormous. It's so big. He's Geneminosaurus. Geneminosaurus Hoffman's egg eye. By the way, interestingly, this is Porcelli Hoffman's egg eye. I have a different breed of Hoffman's egg eye here. The ant isopods are also called whatever Hoffman's egg eye. I don't know the whole name, actually. Ant isopods, we'll come back to it later. Those are actually pretty fun to hold. Like, right, they don't yeet themselves. Can you... I'm sorry, but can you... Uh, it's really hard to put it into focus. Yeah, can, yeah, exactly. Can you do it a bit more like this? This is so such a pretty boy. It looks so funny from my POV when, d when they try to stretch themselves to grab something, but there's nothing there because you just see this isopod rearing up like a cobra. What you can also see is no matter how big an isopod is, it has never more than seven pairs of legs. Oh, man. This oh, she is such escaped. A boy. Oh, yeah. The other one that you just saw, that was a female. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I feel like the white Hoffman's egg are bigger than the regular ones. Oh, it's just so pretty he is and he is one of the prettiest isopods i ever had he is so big it's amazing and he has really long feely boys really long antennas i keep you know i i, I have to use this word so often because i also use it like when drawing a lot but i keep forgetting it antenna yeah i always go feely boys and not feely boys Hold on, I want to see if I can feed him by hand, too. Just add a bit of water only on this side. Oh, my God. If you manage to, f to feed Alpha Cream by hand... Okay, so Finn is over there, out of reach for the camera, I think. Let me just... just he's something. He's right now, he's more interested in scampering away. So you can see fin Finn doesn't have small hands. So you can see the big, big sides comparison to the isopod. Maybe he wants fish food instead. Oh, Noink. such a pretty boy. Or would you like a carrot? Does he like carrot? Do you know what he likes to eat better? So there is a big waiting list for them. I'm sorry. If you want them and you want them to be bought and you want to buy them, purchase them from me. There's just, I don't have enough to sell for sale yet because I just got them last September and they oh. just, they just take a bit of time to to be able to because i want to have il enough of them so that i can sell them and still have enough of them of course and he just almost took a piece of uh, carrot from my hand like he was thinking about it but then he decided it's not good enough so but what i wanted to say is you have to you'll have to wait i'm sorry you'll have to wait <laughs> so big is. um you'll have to wait because there's many people who want them and what i learned from i think i learned it from god please let this name be right i think i learned it from ben from isopod.com is it ben i hope it's ben he's a really nice guy i'm just really bad with names it's the isopod.com dude i learned from him that you should if you have a rare species you should give it to it's i know it sounds mean but you should give it to people who know how it works you shouldn't give it to whoever whoever sells uh, whoever pays the highest price or you should not give it to whoever was there first if there's a species that is rare you should give it to people first who know how to take care of it so that it will be more um that there's a higher chance that it's oh he's so big you know what i just noticed about him what i think is a good comparison i have a yearling hog nose that means he's about a year old if a little bit younger maybe. he's about as thick as that the hog nose is thinner Really? Yeah, that's what oh, I wow. just wanted to put in comparison. Like, he is thicker thick. than my about, a s at least soon, a year old baby hog nose. It's amazing. Like, it's not much, but I think he's a little thicker, which is insane. Um. So, what, yeah, what I would just, we're just fascinated by this one <laughs> isopod. Um, what I just wanted to say is that, yeah, give it to people who know what they're doing so there's a high success rate so that this animal will be proficient proficient will be like there's going to be many people who have it in the hobby don't give it to some don't give it to an amateur who's like oh but i have so i'm gonna pay you well or i really want them no give it to the people who you know they're going to be successful with them 
Of course, this is a decision that is not a businessman decision. It's a decision that is based on somebody who likes the hobby and who likes animals. Because if you're a businessman, like some of the people outside of this podcast are, and you only care about money, then you're like, oh, I'll just, I'll probably just give it to the person with the least experience and who offers the most amount of the money. Highest bidder. Because then you know they're gonna kill them, and you're still gonna be the only one who's gonna offer them, and your soul just goes a bit lower, closer to hell. But yeah, so I will give them prioritized by who knows their shit and Would not you like who. We we shouldn't overfeed them. There's already no but because then they detract molds and young. I know. I'm sorry. It's all right. we should, we, there's already so much food in there. Um, just give it to. I was who gonna put it in. I was just gonna try if she takes it. Okay. Hand. Who who knows their shit? Because those are the people who will then have them further in the hobby, right. and then more people can enjoy them. Yeah. And I think, honestly, that it is not as bad on the business decision. Because first of all, you're gonna again. I hate in. I hate th if there's a rational reason to do something. I hate to be like, yeah, but if you're not about taking care of animals and being nice to people, but to also give reasons to like, oh, but if you're an asshole and you only care about money, there's also some reasons to do that. But I'm like, okay, well maybe we can just bring the people to do the right thing even yeah. with the wrong motives so i'm like yeah but you, you're still a good businessman if you give it to the right people because then first of all you're gonna nourish your business relationships with those people and you're gonna grow your name in the hobby hobby as a good person yeah. which is also like your your reputation you can't fix that if it's ever gone uh, and um if it's if there's more of it in the hobby 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 hobby, hobby, hobby. then more people will know about it and more people will be like, oh, I saw those. They're really cool. I know somebody who has them. I really want it, want them. And then they might come to you and buy them. But yeah. Or you could be a decent person. Or you could be a <laughs> decent person. But you know what? The decent person will, people will, uh, I mean, well, I was almost going to say the wrong thing. Um, everybody who's, watch, who's watching this, I think, is a decent person. Probably because of course. we're not doing anything that's going to contribute to your business. Um, Except for Elia, he's evil. Yeah, but that's just <laughs> part of his soul. Yeah. And then there's, I think, yeah. 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 Next yeah. One. <laughs> I think I zoned out so hard <laughs> because I, I was I, so focused on the big boy. I was like, oh my god. I, I think we have to make this a multi-part series because yeah, we're one and a ha one hour twenty minutes in. Damn. And we're not even through half of the isopods. So yeah. I would say. We finish the Porcellio, yeah. make this episode two, part one, yeah. upload it, yeah. and then we make episode two, part two, which is yeah. going to be Wildfänge, like wild, the uh, ones I collected myself, Kubaris, Marulonella. The wild caught ones. The wild caught ones, the wild boys. Marulonella, um, Kubaris, pill millipedes, millipedes, Rubber duckies. Rubber duckies. Rubber duckies. They're going to be their own category. Um, I think we're gonna do it like that. I think it makes more yeah. sense because then, then everyone has to wait until uh, episode two, part two, to see me cry over isopods because they're so round. <laughs> they're such ruined boys. Okay, uh, but let's go through the next one. I just mentioned it, and I got so like I got this this excited little skip of my heart, <laughs> and my eyes already got watery. It's I don't know what it is about round animals that are just like you know naturally round, not just overweight but like animals that just come that naturally come in the shape round just my heart bug tam died again it's okay i just realized that the that the um polivari have the wrong top Ooh. and they have zero ventilation which is the worst because they need like the most ventilation well, no, but there so is they're unhappy i'm sorry about this There's my one. boys yeah, there's a couple, but oh. also there's some invaders, as you can see here. There's some pruinosis. Are they okay? Are you okay? Yeah, you just don't... Yeah, yeah, he's okay. He's if he can... Okay. And there's some with babies. So Bolivari, I think Bolivari from... So ba I back, actually... I'm. Yeah, he's okay. This isn't Bolivari, this is Bolivari Lemon Ghost. Which you can um, see how they how there's more white... And just one yellow line. I call them the skeleton crew. 
in the past because it looks like they have the ribs from the rib cage. Oh, there's one in the back that Sven's holding. Um, this is again one of the Spanish ones, uh, again um, from the south of Spain, I think. And what they do is, I think this is the most complicated Porcelio species because I don't know, they just need all of the air, but not too much of the air. And they, I, I, I had the, I had a huge population of them, and it crashed, not from the Yelemon ghost, but from the regular Bolivaris. And I think it crashed because it got too hot in the summer. Because in this room, in the summer, it gets to 28 degrees. Interestingly, none of the isopods gave a shit. Most of the species I have here, they didn't care at all that it's 28 degrees in my apartment. And that sometimes I turn on the AC and then it gets colder. But I think the Bolivari crashed. I think for them, it was too cold, uh, too hot. So I'm very sorry about that. Did I you get a carrot? I already gave them oh. one, I think. Yeah, there's a piece of cucumber. I don't... Yeah, I'm sorry about this because it's it feels it feels stupid that for a species that actually likes it warm, that comes from Spain, I made it too hot. Oh yeah, and I gotta I gotta give them the right the right top of the box. So when there's one that isn't as I like how they just freeze. Oh yeah, they you can see the the freezing stance. Yeah, he's just folded over the egg carton, just frozen. Like if I don't move, you can't see me. Okay, what's next? Let's pre-check. So this can is. Give them the right top. Um, I'm still. I, I still gotta wait for one that has the right top. This is Porcelio Hazi. I, I I just got them. I just flip. got them. I got them a while ago. Yeah, you can flip it. They're not doing the best because I think I overwatered them a little. Yeah, this is Porcelio Hazi. People know it. Hazi Hazi. It's again Spanish. It's big. Um, again, lots of protein. Lots of turning back on the camera. I don't think there's no isopod, so I can put it down carefully again. Yeah. Bring up. There's one over there as well. Um, yeah, I'm. There's not a lot to see because there's only a few there, so I'm not gonna do a lot. But yeah, they're pretty. They're doing their thing. They're already moist enough, so I'm not gonna give them any additional water. The tower is being stacked higher. And it's becoming uh, more and more crooked. Yeah, it's be uh, I got to I got to change this before something happens. But I mean, you can just turn it around so it's facing like it's going to tilt towards the wall so it can't fall. Oh, it it's tilted because the floor is crooked. Oh. But behold. Behold, the this orange This is the boys. colony of Faceless John. Ta-da. Trying to face it to the camera. But I'm being too stupid. The camera doesn't want to focus once again. If the camera is not, it's not auto focus, I need to do it. Oh, manually. okay. Okay, so this is Porcelio Magnificus. This is the the next one of the big Spanish boys, and they almost look like Orange Hoffman's egg eyes. Some people say. Uh, can you? Can you? Watch it, there's one on my finger. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Like this. Oh. You c can you hold it? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, you can see it's big. You can again see females with almost no Europods visible. This is the old shell of this one, probably, that just molted. I'm going to carefully put this down. And let's find the big male. So the I think they're super neat. Ones. They're they tend to be active, but they also like to hide a lot. They I think they're coming out oh, as a bit darker. Finger. Do you want to know something like one of my favorite things about isopods that reminds me of bunnies? If they're bunnies. unsure if they want to step on something, they lift up the front of their body and like kind of fold their feet inside. So it reminds me of like this pose bunnies do when they stand up to look at stuff. I I don't know what you mean. I I I, I really? hundred percent know what you mean. Let's give him. They, there's a lot of them there. This is one of my favorite colonies, to be honest. It's just so cute when they do like they put their feetsies like this, and then they 
lift themselves up a little bit and it's the cutest thing ever and it reminds me of bunnies so much so in contrast to the expanses these are both big species con expanses and magnificus also funnily one of them means wide and the other one means big but these ones eat a lot expanses don't eat a lot i'm feeding them they eat little of the a little of the the expanses eat little of the um leaves they get little of the protein but the magnificus i have to refeed them a lot he's being flat boy who's being flat boy he's being scary cat boy yeah he's being secretive <laughs> oh no. flat boy so interesting thing is whenever you're picking something up you have to make sure is there a nice spot on left or on the right side because you don't want to crush it what i have done unfortunately in the past is i've picked it up held it uh, and then I felt something on my hand. I'm like, oh, I'm holding the whole thing with an isopod between one finger and the bark. And the isopod was totally fine. I mean, it was a big one. Yes, it was whenever I pick it up, I use very little pressure. I mainly go with like the surface area of my finger. So, enough. so I make sure I won't hurt the babies. But yeah, they... Um, I really don't encourage it, but it happened to me and it's not the wor it's not the end of the world. They can sustain it. Oh, do you want to hear a really cute story? You know how you can pick up isopods by licking your finger and then put it on Oh, yeah, I, I do that. And it's really cute because I was out with a couple of my friends uh, a while ago. It was pretty late at night. And we found, like, this line of isopods on the ground. I was like, hey, guys, look at this. <laughs> I have a magic trick. And I licked my finger and picked up isopods. And one of them was like, oh, my God, oh my God you can do that? And, yeah. and I was like, yeah, you can do that. And then they tried it, but it didn't work. I was like, you can also very gently, like super gently pick them up from the sides, but you got to be very careful. And they weren't brave enough to do that. And then a couple of days later, they sent me a picture of like their hand with the eyes upon it. And it's just like, I picked him up. That's so nice. <laughs> I was like, I'm so proud of you. And then they said that the, like your finger trick didn't work. So they picked him up very gently and they were so proud of themselves. And I was so proud of them. It, it was, I don't know. It was very cute. <laughs> yeah. I, the thing is that I invented the, I'm probably not the, sure, not the first person who invented it, but I, I invented it for myself when I, I had I came back from a convention and I just have to be fast and then there's one running away and there's a million boxes on my floor <laughs> and there's, um, you know how I told you that there's um, gaps in my floor? Yeah. And if it gets in there, it's gone. So if, it, if an isopod runs away, I gotta be fast. So I'm like, I one, one time I was like, you know what, fuck it. Because when there's, <laughs> if, it, it. if it would be a piece of bird seed or whatever, yeah. I would do that yeah. because it's way easier than to pick it up with your hands yeah. and then i was like you know what fuck it Limp joints and then i had it i was like hey this works nice it's, it's the funniest thing ever you just go Limp. okay now not a fan favorite but probably just a terrarium favorite and this box is gonna look horrible because they eat everything this is levis porcelio levis it's the pandas yeah, there's a lot of leaf skeletons in there. And now there's more leaf. Hey, hey, ha, ha. And the camera's off. Um, and this colony is just the worst because, yeah, they're all on the place where I can s show them. Everybody knows these boys. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them because we're going to make our own episode on all of the... I, I want to make... Uh, yeah, you just they they lead everything. I want to start with having an isopod of the week. It's going to be rubber episodes. duckies every week. Yes. Every week. Every this single week. This is panda. It's called panda because it's black and white. They're called dairy cows in America, which is really yep. funny. They're called dairy cows panda. There's even more names. Um, maybe it's in there. But I really like dairy cows. Like, they're just little tiny cows. They're just no. Um, no yeah, boys. super hardy species. Super easy to take care of. They will explode. Um, you can have them dry. You can have them moist. You can feed them whatever and they will eat it. A bit of a plague. Okay, next one is apparently the same slash not the same. It's Porcelio Levis orange instead of panda. Can but you the crossbreed them? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Finn is asking the right questions. They are trying to crossbreed, but nothing happens, and people don't know why. So people are like, has this become a separate species? Has this always been a separate species? What is going on? And you can see, oh no, there's not a lot of leaves. Yeah, because these fuckers eat everything. You can see my trail of, of leaves. leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaf sprinkles. Um, 
yeah this is basically you, you keep them the same way i i like them it was one of the first isopods i got i think i got these ones you know how i told you how the story of how i had four males of the pandas yeah i got these uh, then i got more from nina from autopoden shop i think oh, oh, I'm gonna look at the baby. i think it's, i think it's autopoden shop at she's really nice i um yeah she's nice and i think she's she, she also works at Chumbo and she's a co-worker of kilian we can bring back his name um and they're living my dream they're living your dream uh Good. and she gave to me the pandas and the labels orange and Nagurus yeah, Christophus. I think I got those three from her. Maybe also magic potion. Not sure. But interestingly, Good now job. she's become way more of a everything else kind of person, and I've become the. Oh, what does she have? Oh, you, you should ne next expo you're at, and she's also there. I mean, I think you went to her her her, her tables, right? Uh, she she's the one who's <laughs> doing the glasses. And she has um, she has bugs, bugs, bugs. like like um, rose bugs. No, what is it called? English Scar scarabs. Scarab beetles. Scarab beetles and millipedes and spiders and I think there was a mantis. Um, but Orlando, uh, because you asked if you were like you saw her at the mess. Look into my eyes. Do you see a single brain cell up there? I don't. Well, think I don't. So. I, I'm not having it at the moment either. So it's it's, with, uh, it's in the bin. The I mean, if I met habit. her, then very sorry for have, forgetting. Ha I have have we told memory. this joke to the audience yet? Which one? The brain cell. I don't think we have. So we have this running joke of Finn and I. Oh, we, no, but it was our, on the expo. We told you a lot of people. So um, the thing is that on the whole expo table, Finn and I are selling. And there's only one brain cell. Um, like we, sh we collectively share we one brain cell. We collectively all share one brain cell, but the issue is that usually one of the isopods has it. Yeah, and we never know which one, so we can't intercept it back. Yes, so we're just brain dead. Yeah, we're just standing there like, eh. Okay, the next two ones are going to be the last two ones for this episode, but they're amazing. And I, I have to split the tower before it falls over. Just gonna jump in for me, please. Thank you. That, that's Orlando now. The isopod. I'm gonna. That's you now. The isopod. Oh yeah, he has your headphones. You've turned into a giant isopod. He has found the lid. I have found the lid, and I'm gonna put the lid on. I keep trying so hard not to yawn the entire time. No, it's weird. Okay. Oh, did you see the picture on my story? Uh, I saw some of them. I saw one where you dropped food on your pants, I think. You mean that one? My pants are no stain. It was blue. No, we're, uh, we were out uh, with um, my mom's husband's family. And they just like randomly took a picture of me talking. And it's a fantastic picture. I'm like, wow, it's, it's oh, a good that picture. One. Yeah, 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 then yeah. my mom took a picture of me. And it's the most horrendous picture ever. So you made yawn me sitting like, Super like a shroud. <laughs> okay. It's wonderful. No, these ones are going to be the last. So these ones, yikes! There's some mold. I do not like. There's so much mold. I mean, don't they eat it? I know, but the thing is, sometimes I have this when I set up a new colony that there starts. They just start off. Everything's fine, and then. Even with a Borsellio species like this, that is very dry, they end up with so much mold in the beginning. And it's a bit dangerous for the monkai. Oh, for the babies. Because they can get trapped, yes. They can get trapped in the mold? Mm. No. So, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to show it as it is. Let's just be honest. It looks like it's covered in spider webs. Yeah. And I do not know why. I hate it. Um, mm. So this is... Porcellio Werneri. It smells fantastic. Well, it smells moldy. And this is now called... There's, our, there's two. Now this is called the pancake isopod. Why? Because they're super flat. Flat. They're also called UFO. UFO. You can see how flat they are. Again, they also, also look like they're wearing lace-trimmed dresses. Yeah, kind of. Also from Spain. Also like it's super dry.
Let me just swoop us over there. Right? It's the worst. I don't know oh, why. This, this, this one little fly, and he keeps trying to go in my nose. He keeps trying you to go in my nose. You do not respect personal space. No. Or what is it called? Body uh, autonomy? Is that the word? Get them! Okay, yeah, these are the pancakes. I just got them a couple of weeks ago. Um, so there's still not a lot going on, but there'll be there'll be more. Did we get fish food? Um, no, because fish food is a bit more enticing to the mold. I'll give him some gamaroos. You can give some carrot. Just one one piece is enough, and I will give them a bit of protein. Because the gamaroos they don't mold. They just turn gross. <laughs> yeah, so they don't mold. They turn gross, and they um, yeah, they don't mold. They just turn reddish. Okay, and now they're still in my face. Go away. Where's where's the carrot? I got these at the same time. This is the word awry, and this is interesting. This is I finally got it after a couple of years. Ooh, there's one. It is Ooh. on the cover. No, it's not on the cover. This is actually black and white. This is Expanse's Le Orange. Uh, there's one, but he went even further into there's the hole, more. and now you can't see. Oh, my God. And you can see how pretty gorgeous they are. They can have their feelers being not black and white, but black, black, white, and orange. Look at that. There's also a little bit of mold on here. There's so much mold. Again keep them dry give them a lot of protein again they will not eat a lot that's why you it's good to have especially with those ones springtails i put extra springtails in there i don't know whether they're not visible um yeah, i think they're super this pretty one, there's one of them that has a really orange butt <laughs> oh my god look at this one it's interesting hold on no, sh sh put it put, give, give it to me i'll, no, no, I'll no, show wait, it to wait, the wait, camera wait. i want to I show why he's interesting the the butt feelies, he has a short and a long one. Maybe he's intersex, oh my god! Where is he? It's the one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I'm like, I'm, where is he on the camera? There's you like one long and one short butt feely. <sighs> Sorry for You could tell which one is the professional eyes about keeper that knows all of the terms, and which one is the idiot that, that just gets dragged along. Yeah, but you can tell who's losing their patience <laughs> three seconds into handling the camera. That's me. He yeah, that's it. interesting. Yeah, yes, but because it doesn't look like it's chewed off. Yeah, but it probably she lost it with a mismold or something. I just thought he's interesting. He's mm, special. He is a special boy, and I think they're one of the prettiest species that I ever had. I wanted them for years, and Toby from Berlin finally got them to me. Do they get a singular carrot as they well? They get a singular carrot and some protein. I dropped a singular carrot like on top of the leaf mountain, so now they have to go forage for it. They have to climb the mountain of leaves, like go through the treacherous adventure, and then they get the reward of a little. They have to play isopods and dragons, or dungeons and isopods. Yeah. You know what I actually thought about on the way here, because we have like the Hogwarts house isopod stickers. You know yeah. what would be cute? Uh, the D and D classes, but as isopods. And I was like, oh my god, isopods oh would totally god. be paladins because they're armored. But, and it would but be we, so but, cute. But we would have to do the same thing again where it's... Um, I mean, either we can do isopods. Okay, so I think we showed all the Porcellio. Now we're just going to shoot the shit for <laughs> for whatever long amount of time. Thank you all for looking at my collection. I have the binder itch. You have the, the, the binder itch? Yeah. Um, is it okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I, I just grabbed... Instead of the mouse, I, gra <laughs> I, grab, I grab the Kubaris. It's like, why isn't this working? Yes. Guys, guys. <laughs> Let me press the button. Okay, I can turn this off. Um, what I just wanted to tell is that... Um, what are we talking about? I suppose as D&D classes. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we can do them as... We can do one thing where we just make terrarium animals as D&D as classes. And I suppose would be paladins. But that, but I think what we should do is isopod species as D and D classes. Yeah, that's what I thought so too. No, no, but th th it's different. So that oh my god, the the, the, the magic potions are gonna be no the mm. what use words please tell the tell, <laughs> tell the people the ankylosaurus ones 
They're the paladins because they're extra spiky. They're extra spiky. They're extra. S- they have so much armor. They're extra spiky. They're like little dinosaurs. And or they could be the w- dragon. Who would push? Who would the milk back? Who would the Porcelio Levis be? Would they be rogues because they just take everything? Yeah. Or would it be ornados because they just eat, take everything? But they're which, big. Which is the which is the horniest species of isopod? Which like which breeds the fastest? Because those are going to be the bards. <laughs> I would say the bards have to be funny ones. Maybe, maybe the rubber duckies are the bards. But we can't do rubber duckies again. But we should do rubber duckies. We should. Uh, excuse me, no matter what sticker there's series. There's going to be rubber yeah, duckies. there's going to be rubber duckies. Uh, even if you tell me specifically not to draw rubber duckies, I will draw yeah. them and I will make them so cute. You will look at me and go, Finn, you've done it again. Finn would be the worst um, police sketch artist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People would be like, oh my god, he took my purse. He shot my husband. The long nose and the chin was kind of like this one. And then, and then Finn would be like... Robert Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> so when I when I heard you describe it, it's a rubber ducky, I suppose they're like, do you what? Know, do you know what a rubber ducky is? It's like, okay, okay, I get that. I know getting robbed is like really traumatic. But have you ever heard of a rubber ducky, I suppose? It will be it will be Bruce Wayne whose parents just got <laughs> murdered. It's like, oh my god, that he's not Batman, that he turns out to be a rubber ducky man. <laughs> the ru- rub duck. We could also do that. We could also do the superheroes. Oh, superheroes. But yeah. that's kind of difficult because many of them are already based on animals. Yeah. Like, um, uh, Captain the America is based on... No, I'm not going to say it. This is too incorrect. <laughs> but you know what I just no. realized? Because the, the Montenegro, they're based on... They they look like Black Widow spiders, right? So they'd be the Spider-Man of Isopods. That is smart. Or Black Widow. Oh, so black, black, you know, black Widow. Oh, Black... Or Black... No. It's literally no, in the name. Would, <laughs> but then I would have the temptation to somehow try and make the Isopod look hot. Yeah, like boobs. <laughs> Bruh. I'm just, I'm just gonna... You know how these fake chests that you can use for cosplay where there's yeah, like, like muscular the, or ones? Or like for, for, um, oh, like ones with for Drag Race. Yeah, w- ones with ginormous drag, titties. Tr- for Drag Race. For drag, and it's dra- just drag. the Isopod like that. With huge, with, with ch- it's called a chest plate. Uh, Char- Charlie, my girlfriend, she's really into uh, uh, RuPaul, <laughs> and we watched a couple of seasons together. And now I also think it's fun and hilarious, and I know all of the words—not all of them, of course—but um, it actually, yeah, I, I think it's really cool. So what, what, what's really cool with these toys is that um, they have a mouth. Yes, you can roll them up, but the thing is that the way this piece here fits in there, this is actually the mouth. I'm going to switch cam. And there's a little peg on the butt that you put in the mouth, and then you have to make it go click. Like, hold on. Yeah, it clicks. So this here is the mouth, and it actually looks like that on an isopod. Um, but yeah, so D&D classes. First of all, I, I, I've seen a big overlap between ac- actual isopod fans. Not like, oh, I want to clean up clue, but isopod fans. And nerds. And nerds. And... Um, and uh, D and D stuff, yeah. and LGBTQ stuff, and I think those are like where I'm. Le- so yeah. music wise, it's all over the place, um, but when it comes to uh, um, these parts of of people's lives, I've seen this overlap, and yeah, I think we should. I mean, the thing is, I don't like. I don't like. I like. I would like to play D and D, but I'm actually. I play a lot of Call of Cthulhu. Yep. Finn is one of my players, and I'm a keeper. But so, what I would like to do, of course, which would be way cooler for me, is to have the different Call of Cthulhu, Lovecraft gods as Robert uh, as Isopods. We could do that too. But nobody's gonna buy that because it's way too niche. So we so. <laughs> did you? Re- did it? Is it broken? No, you can put. It Finn back just in. ripped out the leg of an isopod. Uh, Speaking of D and D, I want to tell a funny story. Oh no, it's twelve. Oh, it, it, just it's a quick round of the story because yeah, um, uh, I play D and D. I love my D and D group. Uh, they have to put up with a lot of bullshit, aka me. <laughs> and I showed them my spider because I have this really. Oh, it's a story you told before, yeah. <laughs> and I was talking about like what they do for defensive mechanisms, why they're a great. Well, what spider is it? Tell the people. It's a Caribina Versicolor, and I love him. He's very fast, but he's getting. Uh, I handle him very carefully because they can drop those irritating hairs, and he's getting really good at it. He's getting very used to it. He started taking food from the tongs. So it's, it's getting very nice. So I was handling him. Everything was perfect. He was behaving so well. And then he just turned around and projectile shot at my DM. 
Is it a defense mechanism? Is it? I is don't it a, know. I've I, never heard that. I, I know that they shoot their hair and stuff like that, yeah. but I didn't know that they I, do that. At first, that. I thought he was trying to put out a web, but no. It, it felt this poor man already has to put up with stink? me. I guess it's stink. I, I don't know. It, I did. It didn't stink. At least it is. But this poor man already has to put up with me all the time because I think I'm funny, and I felt so bad. It's, well. You 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 play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. Yeah. You want to see your spider is gonna shit on you. Yeah, it's but it felt so bad. Um, I I think you, I like I don't know about your group and how you're behaving your group, but to my Call of Cthulhu group, you're a great addition, and I love having oh, you around. You. So um, if you're in any if if you're completely different with the other friend group. No, I'm still the same. I'm like literally this poor man. The, the the question he hears the most is he describes the character, and I look around and I look at him like. Are they hot? <laughs> oh, yeah, you told me about this. Finn, Finn's character tries to bang everybody. <laughs> which you're not doing in Call of Cthulhu, I, I did. Think. In the first Oh, session. you did. Yeah, you right. tried. You the tried hospital to, guy. You tried to Are bang the hospital yeah. guy. And then he killed himself. Yeah, he killed himself. But you said they did vanish into the closet together for five minutes. So call that a win. Call that a win. Yeah. Um, just for people who have no idea, this is pen and paper role playing. If yeah, you don't know that, funny. you may have watched, um, what is it called? Stranger Things. They do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this has been a great episode. Thank you all for watching. Oh. Sorry. Finn, um, keep your sk schizophrenia in <laughs> check for five more minutes. <laughs> the, the little gnats. They I know going it's for the mungus gnats. Fungus yeah, they're, they're the mungus gnats. Um, <laughs> mungus fats. Mungus fats. They're, they're mungus fats. Um, um, yeah, we're gonna do part two because this is almost two hours. We have a two-hour episode. Down. I'm going to ask for uh, maybe that we can do something on the color grading so it looks more nice. Yeah. No reason to say those things. Why did I do that? Um, we are going to make a second part with all the other species that I have left. I hope it was informative. It was inspired by Reptiliatus video. I want to say this in the end. I should have said it in the beginning. But this video was kind of inspired by when I started collecting isopods for Reptiliatus. He has big youtube and tiktok channel he had a video several videos of him feeding his isopods and um it was really cool for me to watch when i started out because i was like oh my god there's so many cool species and oh my god it's so cool and now i kind of have the same thing going on you which became is your own hero i became my own hero and now i, I i'm gonna tag him I because so i want him to see it um, what he did is he had all the timestamps for all the isopods. So I'm going to try to do this as well. Uh, there's going to be a comment that is like, or not a comment, but like uh, it's going to be in the description, like which isopod is at which timestamp. So if you want to just see this one isopod, you just click. Um, yes, hat. There's going to be a second part of the... I think this is just episode two and the other one yeah. is going to be episode two. Tune in for part two if you want to see me cry two. like a baby over Robert Ducky Ice Pot. It's going to happen. It happens every time. I can't stop myself, especially with Big Chungus. I hold him and then the tears start to come. Tears start... Cra what is the song called again? The, the tears start crash around me. The, the, the Robert Ducky Ice Pots are great. Um, thank great. you all for tuning in. This Thanks. has been amazing. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hate Sui saying that. Please, please don't forget to have a personality and take care of yourself and the plants, and animals, join my fungi, cult for and duckies. people around you, and whatever else I didn't mention. The multi and singular celled organisms around you, take care of them and yourself. Um, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to do the second episode soon. And cheers. 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 Him. 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 No, we can, wait, but we can, we can, we can, we can switch cameras. Oh. Here. We're gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.